road was quiet. I was getting closer to a traffic light and saw something waiting at the crosswalk to cross the road. It seemed like a dog at first, but then I saw it was actually a fox. Hi everyone! This week's video is another unofficial entry for the Animal Artists Collective and the theme is urban animals, meaning wild animals that live in one of today's most widespread environments, human establishments. The animal I chose was fox because I remembered an encounter I had with a fox a few years ago. So I was driving home from work, it was spring or summer, probably May, and I was going home after an evening shift, so it was maybe 10 pm. I don't remember exactly. But it was getting a bit dark, not that dark since it was spring or summertime in Finland and it gets dark very late. It was really quiet on the road, I was getting closer to a traffic light and I saw there was something waiting at the crosswalk to cross the road. And at first I thought it was a dog and I was wondering why is this dog not in a leash, where is the owner? I had a green light, but I slowed down in case the dog would cross the road, but it didn't. It just waited and then I saw it was actually a fox. A very worn down, skinny fox waiting for the green light to cross the road. And that was my idea for this painting. Now, before I actually started sketching it, I had another encounter with a fox. Or actually it was four fox cubs. So at midsummer this year, we were at the summer cottage in central Finland, in the countryside, and we had driven to a duckboard path on a swamp area that goes round a couple of ponds or lakes that were maybe a half an hour drive away. And we were driving back at noon or maybe early afternoon, and then I saw some strange animal jumping in the field. It wasn't a rabbit, but it was about the same size. It was more funny looking from the distance, like light brown tapir or something, but they don't live in Finland, obviously. So only when we got closer, we could see it was actually a little fox. And there was another one, and another, and another. They were playing in the field where the cows usually graze. They were not scared of us. A couple of them actually ran towards the car when I got out with the camera. One of them, a very skinny one, ran across the road. Then the next day when we left, we looked closely when we drove by the same place and sure enough, two of the fox cubs were there again. One of them was sleeping in the field at first and didn't care about the car. And then the other one came to wake it up and they were running and play fighting. So those were my encounters with foxes. Both of them felt quite surreal at the time Although apparently it's common to see a fox in the city nowadays. And I combined both of them into a concept of a fox and two fox cubs crossing the street. I had this idea in my head and then realized it resembles Beatles album cover. So I used that as one of my references. And I don't know if I've done a perspective drawing since school, but I thought it would work for this idea. So I made one vanishing point for the road and the sides are covered with trees and greenery and there's a small shred of sky visible on top. There's a bit of pink to make it look like an early evening sunset. The road is kind of funny, it's not wide enough to have two lanes when you compare it to the foxes. I didn't think about that until I had already sketched the foxes. So I sketched on normal printer paper with colored pencils using multiple references. Some were my own photos of the fox cubs, some were stock photos, some just Google images. I also glanced at some reference photos of long roads, crosswalks and traffic lights. Then I transferred the sketch onto watercolor paper with graphite transfer paper and used a thin 005 micron pen for inking and erased the pencil lines before painting. I'm not sure the inking was a good idea. I had sketched the general shapes of the foxes, but not the fluffiness of the fur, so when I inked those lines, the foxes didn't turn out that fox looking and I couldn't really fix it while painting since watercolor won't cover up ink. 
I painted with Kotman watercolors and added some Crayerbox Marabou watercolor pens at the end too for texture and more saturated colors. And actually at the very end, after I stopped filming, I added some white acrylic too for highlights. All my supplies are listed below. As I mentioned, this painting is an unofficial entry for the Animal Artist Collective. It's a group where the members each paint an animal based on a chosen theme every two months. And they make a speed painting video and sell the original artwork and give at least 50% of the proceeds to animal conservation. So please check them out and see which animals they chose. You can also take part in the themes unofficially, as I'm doing now. I link to a playlist below with all the Animal Artist Collective videos I can find, including both official and unofficial ones, so you can easily find them. You can vote for the next theme on their Facebook page soon, so I link that below as well. Before the tape peeling, thank you so much for watching and see you next week. I'm posting two videos a week at the moment, a real-time ASMR art video with relaxing drawing and art supply sounds on Tuesdays, and a small art tutorial or a speed painting like this one on Fridays. Bye!